Hi everyone, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Vivek and I host this channel. I just wanted to inform you guys that there are two different series running simultaneously on my YouTube channel. The first one is placement preparation series and the second one is master's abroad series. Placement preparation series is where I and various of my other friends and other students who have faced their preparation or faced their interviews are going to share their experiences. This video is part of that series and it is a seventh video wherein Anirudh will be explaining his Volvo experiences. It is related to an embedded systems role in ECE field and he's, uh, he has been selected for a graduate engineering trainee role in Volvo. And coming to the Masters Abroad series, it is a series where I will be explaining and sharing my experiences and various other information about Masters Abroad in various other countries that is MS or MTech or M Engineering etc. in various other countries especially in USA and Canada. And especially if some of your friends are preparing for placements, do share them this placement preparation series videos. And if they are preparing for masters abroad, do share them these masters abroad preparation videos. And if you have subscribed to my channel, do subscribe it now. And if you have already subscribed, do like the video, share it with your friends. Today, due to some technical issues, Anirudh won't be able to share his video. So we will be just talking with him over call and I will be having my video and this video is going to be as usual as every other video on my channel regarding placement preparation. So enough of chit chat, let's dive right into the video. Thank you so much. Firstly, thank you so much Anirudh for accepting my request and coming to my YouTube channel to share your experiences. How are you Anirudh? Hello Vivek, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm very much fine. Yeah. So, let's it's go into the interview. Yeah. So, before I introduce you, you, you please introduce yourself first. Okay. Hello guys, my name is Anirudh. I'm from Vitaipi University. I'm a B.Tech graduate pursuing EC with specialization in embedded systems. And recently I got placed in Volvo group in a campus placement and coming to a company, it is a core company which works on trucks and coming to my CTC, I am getting a CTC of 5.5 LPA. Okay. So were you required to take up an internship on it or it was directly a job? No, Vivek, it's uh, directly a full-time job. Actually, the profile in which I got selected itself is a trainee profile. It is graduate engineer trainee, GET profile. Okay. So in this profile, uh, training is training will be provided for a period of one year. And later, after that training, your role will be assigned. So there is no need okay. of internship again. Okay. So during this intern training program, first year, the salary will be full rate. Are there any deductions? No, no, uh, the salary will be full. Okay. They have mentioned we will get a CTC of 5.5 LPA. And I think on cuttings, uh, I think I'll get up to 40,000 per month. Okay, great, great. Yeah. So, uh, could you speak about what work you would be doing uh, according to your knowledge? Uh, actually, my job hasn't started yet. It yeah. will start on the next uh, Thursday. Okay. As of what, what I heard, uh, they'll give training like... Uh, there are different areas. They show you how all the embedded systems in a automobile vehicle works, and what are the things you need to. There will be coding, verification, and many other profiles. So first, they'll give you a brief knowledge of all the all the aspects like coding and the, all this verification and all those stuff. And after one year, they will assign you a job in which you are suited for. Okay. Basically, no. in training, all they'll give good knowledge of everything. Great, great. They'll yeah. Give a touch of everything. Yeah. So, uh, so how many rounds were there in this uh, filtration process, and you know, for the specific company? Yeah. Coming to the selection process, uh, there are three rounds. One is the written test. Uh, other one is technical round. Other one is the HR round. And in the coming to the Written test, uh, written test, 90% of the written test was on aptitude. Like okay. they asked about quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning, and verbal ability. And remaining 10% are on core subjects like control systems, communication systems, ADC, analog devices and circuits. And, and yeah. this is about the writing test. After the writing test, uh, uh, they called us for technical round. 
in the technical round uh, they asked uh, they asked some questions from a resume actually uh, what i understood is in core company while going to technical round you should be so strong in your resume like you have to be so perfect in all the projects you have mentioned in your resume they have asked everything about in resume they haven't crossed my resume uh, they have asked about a project which i have mentioned in my resume and they asked everything they asked all the details very detail analysis of the project okay, okay and nothing more than that and after technical round uh, you know there is a hr round in this which there are general hr questions like introduce yourself what is your short term goal long term goal and etc yeah great great so in the first round of the exam uh, what was the difficulty of those core questions were they easy or were you able to attend it what was the level of those questions yeah coming to aptitude questions they were really very easy like uh, the thing is time management they asked like uh, uh, what do you say they asked about 10 questions and we have to answer them in 5 to 6 minutes mm-hmm. like time time management is important the level of questions the level of questions were easy but you have to be so fast in calculating and same applies with every every section even in verbal ability and everything they asked very general easy questions you have to be so fast in calculating them okay Basically, and coming to core right. questions how are they mm, core questions uh, as i said they asked only only 10% of the written test is on core subjects and out of that uh, mostly they asked about control systems after that they asked about uh, communication systems and very uh, two to three questions were asked on adc okay yeah that's it so i, I mostly okay yeah. okay so uh, were you not uh, not able to answer uh, all the core questions completely or partially what do you think about that i think uh, i haven't answered them properly okay. because aptitude i was so perfect i i'm so confident in writing the aptitude test okay okay and i think it is a major plus for me and also maybe the interview might be a major part of in, in your filtration yeah, yeah. interview is the next step actually yeah, yeah. Uh, i'm perfect in my resume and they asked everything from a resume nothing more than that hmm. so yeah going on with the next step of your preparation uh, actually my common doubt which i receive is many companies would ask for specific topics like uh, some companies would ask for power power electronics related topics or some companies would ask for only control systems related topics uh, so in these kind of scenarios how to prepare in the placements like especially for core jobs even what did you follow i think it is really best to, to know about a company before going to the interviews or before going writing the written test do research research know about the company know about the previous interview questions know about the previous written tests and know from other people's experiences it's really better so you can't guess right which question they are going to ask so you need to enquire you need to do lot of research like and do company specific research and prepare according to that okay and for all who as i have searched and online i searched in online they have clearly mentioned more questions will come from control systems and aptitude so i prepared on that okay so were you placed in any other company anirudh or only all uh, actually this is my first company and this is my first and last company i placed okay okay and before volvo i got uh, selected for group discussions in two to three companies but uh, it didn't go well so so yeah. this is my first company so actually in some scenarios uh, in some scenarios what happens is many students get placed in uh, two or three companies and uh, you know there will be situations where they might not be able to decide which one so what would you suggest what criteria should they consider for choosing a specific company okay a uh, very good question actually so first don't go behind salary salary is really not an issue because we are freshers we need to gain experience and we need to gain work knowledge exactly. so do research about the company and do research about the profile you are going to work in the company and after that you need to decide which company suits you which company has a better future scope and all those things salary is not an issue yeah correct so and uh, going on with other questions i mean uh, for volvo or for any other company what were the sources you used for your preparation for core or even for it or anything what were the sources like youtube channels or what were the specific sources you used 
for your preparation could you mention few of those sure uh, basically we are from core background right so even to attempt in it companies uh, we need to be so strong in aptitude i suggest that because aptitude is the major scoring scoring area for us when compared to it students and aptitude really helps us and coming to aptitude india bix is really a good site where you can find questions about all the aptitude topics and coming to core core uh, there are really very less youtube channels actually forgot the names i'll send you the links yeah so they'll really help us a lot okay core, so actually, mm. actually our materials are college materials are more than enough i have a college ppts and i have gone through them nothing more than that okay so okay. what subjects do you think we need to revise the first year subjects would be enough right for electronics yeah yeah for any core com- basic subjects we will like uh, f triple e fundamentals of electric and electronic circuit yeah. and analog device circuits control systems signals and systems communication systems i think these five are basic like any company requires this. and yeah. apart from the company specific like you said like power systems and all those things so yeah. it depends on company these five uh, are the basic core subjects one need to have good command in so yeah i completely agree with that and going on with other questions i mean there was a question which was commonly from most the jun- most of the juniors like uh, is luck factor very important in placements or it is only our hard work or the practice which we do so what do you think on this thing what is your take on this yeah i think luck matters yeah because uh, we need to do a hard work we need to do our work there, there should be no compromise in our work and but at the same time there should be some luck to get placed in that company yeah. but like a faith like see i know if i didn't get placed in this company i'll get placed in another company for sure but to get placed in this company i need to have some luck like you got it right like yeah yeah correct luck, i got it luck is needed actually but uh, the practice and hard work is also needed right yeah that there should be no negligence okay. in that you yeah. shouldn't really so, case for sure hmm. when do you think we should start preparing for our uh, placements or interviews what uh, is the i think we should start a preparation from third year from third year first semester third from third year first semester yeah because we are from core right we have no idea on all the it subjects operating systems database database management systems yeah. computer networking and we have no idea on data no proper idea on data structures yeah. so i think to get a good grip in all these things it is better to start from third year data structures are like the more you practice the more perfect you will be so i recommend starting start your practice from third year there are many cool coding websites like hacker rank and lead code code chef so there are enough resources you need to make a good use of them mm-hmm. and to use all the resources you need to start preparation from third year exactly so going on with uh, some of the last questions so uh, many students don't get placed in the initial stages of uh, placement sessions and they get discouraged so in these kind of scenarios what do you suggest them uh, how should they face the placements in these kind of scenarios are there any suggestions you would like to give them or you know tips and tricks from your side hmm uh, one thing i would like to is don't get demotivated enough companies will come for it enough companies will come for it but you didn't get placed in one company so what there will be another company for sure you'll get placed in and just remember one thing these campus placements are just they're not end okay they're the beginning so what if you didn't get in campus placements you may get a good job in off campus placements who knows like don't take it to heart give your best for interviews give your best for written tests and everything but if you didn't get the job take don't take it to heart leave it and don't get demotivated give the same preparation for for upcoming companies who knows you have a better company in the future right exactly who knows yeah. so uh, some uh, placement preparation strategies you would like to share with your juniors could you share any of those placement strategies uh, 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 one thing i like to say is do company specific preparation and don't prepare all the topics before writing an exam be company specific that is more than enough and that is one thing and be confident and interviews 
your subject more than your subject knowledge your uh, attitude and your communication skills will matter because some co- communication skills will matter a lot for some companies more than your coding knowledge and all the sub theoretical knowledge you have yeah. attitude is the most important thing in your interviews exactly yeah and in written uh, for our core students attitude is a strength and it not only helps for core companies but it also helps for many it companies you will have a more margin when you can score more in aptitude and for core students uh, be strong. if you want to get a core job if you only want to get a core job at least be good in basic coding any language choose a language and be good not perfect you need to know the basics of a coding language yeah. that is more than enough only a few coding only few companies few core companies like uh, lnt ask the coding right ask the c++ question in the written test no yeah. other company asked about coding so if you want to get a core company don't focus on coding much focus more on aptitude and core subjects and don't take placements too too hard yeah and don't get demotivated okay so one last question uh, to end up this discussion uh, so this thing is uh, there are many topics which you need to revise before the placement like right? uh, the control systems or signals and systems the basic if triple a and various other things so uh, to what extent could we cover all these things like so can we just cover the basic laws and then overview you know those kind of things or to what extent to what depth should we go in these fields you know could you suggest from your experiences it actually depends on the company right yeah, if yeah. the company only asks about control systems be perfect in control systems like go to as deep go as deep as possible okay if a if a our volvo asked about control system communication systems and uh, and i also prepared uh, automobile electronics because it's automotive company uh, i have prepared like like you have to say something you have you you shouldn't sit silent you have to say something and you have to divert to your favorite question to your to your favorite side you have to divert the interview you have to Correct. convince him and speak whatever you know speak whatever you know don't hesitate because it's a one and only chance if you don't speak there's no use right or wrong speak something Yeah. interviews it so, depends on company yeah. mostly yeah, <laughs> the company got specific it. research and uh, prepare according to it I and be it. perfect in your resume be very Definitely. good in your resume i mention something in resume be good at it yeah. uh so i guess this is the end of the discussion so would you like to add any points do you think we missed any points to be added in the discussion no vik i think yeah. we have covered yeah. all the points I yeah. said all the points I want to say. Yeah. So, any final tips? Uh, you know, placements are going to start in a month or so. Would you like to add any final tips so we can wind up the discussion? Okay. Uh, all the best to all the juniors who are attending placements. Be prepare well, do well, and be confident and cheer up. Don't get demotivated, disappointed. There are many opportunities waiting outside. Don't worry. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. so you know thank you so much anirudh for taking part of your time and you know sharing your experiences this means a lot to me thank you so much once again stay safe stay safe thank you for yeah. thank you for calling me yeah, yeah. no Sorry. worries yeah okay then. bye and stay safe bye vivek <laughs>